Hey, it is June the 12th, 2023, and, <clears throat> you know, I just watched a video, um, Jeff Berwick on his, ch on his website, he has several other commentators, he posts videos for them, um, I'll leave a link to that page so you can see where all these videos are, a lot of kind of enlightened people, um, and one of the people that he posts, he is going on an, <clears throat> look like he's taking a motorcycle basically through Mexico. Um, really interesting stuff. Uh, just encountering different people, just kind of enjoying the, the natural scenery and the, the sort of Indian ruins and um, just different things as he was going through Mexico. But, uh, as he was kind of driving back to Texas, he was talking about, you know, all these migrants um, are coming up through Mexico destined for, for Texas. And, you know, these people, a lot of them are refugees from Venezuela um, and other kind of socialist countries that have where there's really, there's no opportunity and where people are starving and, you know, where they've heard, you know, America's this free land. They, maybe they don't know the details, but they're hopeless and they got nowhere to go back to and they're starving or some of them. And, uh, and so they just, they're coming to America, man. And, uh, you know, these people are on foot, you know, they got some of them kids with them. And, uh, you know, here in America, you know, we got all these people saying, man, we got to shut the border. We got to stop having all these people coming in. Um, we can't take care of all these people. And what I say is um, we could take care of these people if we were to have a free economy, you know, if a man or a woman was free to buy some land and start a factory and employ people for wages that are substantially below the minimum wage as it currently sits and was able to not jump through all the legal regulations and pay all the taxes and all the other bullshit that the government requires, which has completely destroyed manufacturing and most other productive industries in America. Then those people would have somewhere to take refuge and those men and those women could get jobs and maybe some of those children could get fucking jobs. And maybe those fucking people could have a chance of surviving um, and not being a fucking drain on a government that's already indebted and will not be able to sustain itself for much longer under the laws of economics. So, uh, yeah, those people are going to keep coming, man, and you build a wall, they're going to dig under that fucking wall or they're going to break that fucking wall down because these people are fucking desperate and there's fucking millions or billions of them living around the world and they got nowhere else to go and they got nowhere else to go back to. You got people from the Middle East, war-torn fucking countries. There's nothing to go back to, man. And uh, they go where they can, you know. And they, you know, if they're living on a prayer, on a hope, on whatever uh, keeps them moving. And, um, you know, they're either, <laughs> we're either all going to starve together here. Or are we going to get economic freedom um, here? And that's really the bottom fucking line. It's what I've been telling you for fucking years. 
and I continue to wait and hang out until other people figure this out. So take care, guys.